Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to update your Cydia packages in the background. So basically this just refreshes all of the newest updates for Cydia in the background, and then you can go ahead and open up Cydia, and then you do not have to wait for it to reload and do all of that annoying stuff that I hate waiting for. Now, I know it may not seem like that big of a deal, but to some people, especially the people who have older iDevices, such as an iPhone 3G or an iPod Touch second generation, it can get quite tedious to wait around for it, especially if you want something that's new and you actually can't cancel out of it because, again, you're waiting for that new package to show up inside of Cydia, so then you have to actually just wait there and you can't cancel out of it. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean. So I'm going to load up Cydia here and basically... Uh, it doesn't actually refresh for me because I just refreshed my Cydia, but uh, if you haven't been on your Cydia for a while, then it'll automatically refresh it, and uh, it does get quite annoying, and again, it does take a long time for older iDevices, and basically, uh, again, I cannot stress enough how annoying it is to just see that updating database and the downloading release and packages up there at the top. Now it does go quite fast for me because I am over a really super fast Wi-Fi connection right now, but I'm going to show you guys how to change all of this. First, you obviously will have to be jailbroken, and if you do not know how to jailbreak or you don't know what jailbreaking is or you don't even know what I'm talking about as far as Cydia goes, then you guys can click on the link that is down below in the more info that will take you to my video video on how to jailbreak iOS 4.2.1 on every iDevice and it is untethered. So uh, once you have a jailbroken iDevice you can come into Cydia and you can go to the search tab at the bottom and you can search for SB settings. It is all one word and uh, it is from the Big Boss repository and it is right there. It is the second one after you search for SB settings and then you can go ahead and just hit install and confirm now once you have SB settings installed you're gonna have to install one more thing you're going to go ahead and search for this package right here it is Debian updater for SB settings so again it is right here and you just install and confirm it once you have resprung I'm gonna show you what it is so basically all you have to do is just swipe over to access SB settings and then what you can do from there is you can go ahead and just tap on the deb updater and as you can see up in this corner right here by that little lock info thing right there uh, you can see that it is refreshing my Cydia packages. Now, unfortunately, there is no real way for me to actually show you guys that it did refresh and it did grab the latest packages. I guess you guys are just going to have to trust me and try it out for yourself and see if it works that way. So, yeah, that's basically just what it does. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, be sure to rate this video up. And if you aren't already, make sure you subscribe to me for more high-quality videos daily. Uh, again, I hope you guys like this video. This is ICU, signing out.